I think people are surprised repeatedly about how fresh and interesting and contemporary the voices of the past can be all those centuries ago. Boccaccio and his Decameron, this famous set of tales written right after the Black Death in Florence um, in 1348, he wants to write about what happens to human behavior and our understanding and responses to the world during a pandemic? What are the many different ways we respond to this? Boccaccio is writing from a prosperous commercial and banking society at the end of the Middle Ages, right? That's what Florence is in the middle of the 14th century. It's not the epicenter of the world, but it's definitely a crucial node in large networks of commerce and politics and, you know, human mobility. And all of a sudden, all these things have come crashing down because of it. You know, so the economy is stalled. All the normal laws of their society are simply non-functional. And people have to figure out what to do about that. Those pictures that we have from early in COVID when we all shut down of empty cities are exactly what struck somebody like Boccaccio, what happened when such a busy place became so silent. I think most people have tended to study a moment like the Black Death as, you know, the history of the very dead and gone that leaves behind, of course, a compelling record. But when you reread that record in light of our own experience, it sounds different, doesn't it? You know, you start listening much more carefully to not only what people are saying, but why they say it. And you also can't help but listen from the perspective of your own experience. Let's just say that history builds that bridge, you know, that the bridges of understanding and humanity are not just across space, but also across time.